and 195-60 R15 tires. Nissan claims the rear-wheel drive 200SX puts balanced power to the pavement. The Nissan just doesn't have the straight-line acceleration that the Beretta has. The sound level is definitely a lot louder as well. Honda Prelude is equipped with a four-cylinder, 1.8-liter, 12-valve engine with 100 horsepower and 185-70 R13 tires. The 300-pound lighter Prelude should get off the line well, but then what? Uh, the Beretta GT definitely had an advantage over the Honda Prelude. Straight-line speed was a big difference. Mazda 626 is equipped with a four-cylinder, two-liter engine with 93 horsepower and 185-70 R14 tires. Of all the competitors, 626 is closest in size and weight to Beretta. The car could not perform in a straight line anywhere near what the, the Beretta GT did. The, the Mazda 626 didn't give me the impression that I was driving a sporty type car. Finding the Beretta V6 to be the dominant force in straight line acceleration, the Archer brothers then evaluated the cars through a series of S's. I think that going through the S-turns here at Firebird it showed that the Breda GT, the way it's set up, that you could just about drive the car anywhere you wanted. Compared to the other cars, we weren't able to do that. You had to basically drive them at a certain set speed, and the Breda GT, we were able to go through those turns and uh, basically put the car through harder and harder. We never actually did get to the point where the Breda GT said, I don't want to turn. Comparing the Beretta GT and the Celica GT through the slalom course, for the Toyota being a much lighter car, the Beretta really held its own against the Toyota going through the slalom here at Firebird. It was, it was amazing to me to be able to see that a lightweight car could not handle the transitions between left and right, as well as the bigger car, the Beretta GT. Comparing the Beretta GT to the Nissan 200SX, we didn't feel anywhere near as comfortable going through the turns that the car just felt like you got in the middle of the turn and it kind of gave up and wasn't going to do the turn. It was all like struggling with a, a young child or something, trying to make it do something it didn't want to do all day long. Every turn we went through, we had the same problem. And it just, it really doesn't measure up to the standards of the GT. The Honda was a smaller car, so it would go through the swallow okay. But uh, pulling away from the turns, the power of the Beretta GT definitely was able to pull the car out of the turns better than any of the cars we tested. The Mazda 626 Sport Coupe gave me the feeling you were driving a big old tub, a big family sedan. And in this sporty car market, it, it, it just can't do that. The Beretta GT is doing exactly what we were told it would do. It's, it's overall fun to drive. I think that's a key point in the compact split coupe market. The Beretta GT had a, a better controllability through all the turns than, than most of the cars. And even if you got yourself in trouble, you can turn the wheel and the, and the Eagle GTs will still grip the road and bring you back. And we weren't able to do that with the other cars. You had to be perfect through the turns to make them go. And if you came in with the Beretta and you were a little bit off, you could turn and they would grab the road and bring it back online, but even when you had gone in too far. The Beretta definitely had a better overall feel from the driver's point of view. Comparing it with the cars of the Beretta is just way out in front. When you get to the finish line, it's apparent the Beretta GT is a very competent entry into the compact sport coupe market. It's a worthy new challenger and a field of respected contenders. So you can have confidence in what you've got to sell. If a buyer mentions Prelude, Celica GT, 200SX, or any of the other compact sport coupes, you've got a winner you can offer them, the Beretta GT. We're standing here at the threshold of a great new automotive frontier for Chevrolet, because we're about to enter an exciting market with a totally new Chevrolet passenger car. That market is the sport compact segment 
and the car is the Chevrolet Beretta. Here at the National Dealer Convention, I spoke to the dealers about this exciting new product. And now I'm pleased to have the opportunity to share that same sense of excitement with you. You know, for years, the sport compact segment had been populated by Honda Prelude, Nissan 200SX, Mazda 626, and Toyota Celica. Yes, our Camaro and Cavalier Z24 have overlapped into this group, but they weren't really designed to go head-to-head -head with them. Well, Beretta's been designed to take these cars head-on. Everything about it evolve with your sporty car prospects in mind. Now inside, drivers settle into a flight deck interior that's one of the largest they'll ever have seen in a sport coupe. And under the hood, they'll have one of the strongest engines in the class with the available multi-port V6. Now the competition's more cramped and underpowered when compared to Beretta. And that's just one reason why we say it's really a new species. Now, Beretta slots neatly between Cavalier Z24 and Camaro in the Chevy lineup. It has its own distinct set of buyers, buyers who will be turned on by its aggressive good looks, wide body stance, and especially by the way it feels on the road. Typically, They'll be between 25 and 35 years of age, college educated, and starting up that corporate ladder, probably in entry managerial positions. They're headed for success, and they want the cars they drive to reflect that. Now, while many will be younger married couples, more than half will probably be single, and half will be that all-important woman buyer. But here's a key point. They can't go anywhere else to get a Beretta. They've got to come to you. This new car is an exclusive for Chevrolet, and that's good news for all of us. And when we're up to full speed, we'll have the production capacity to build 250,000 of these cars annually. That's more good news. Now, what are your keys to selling Beretta? Well, leading the list of reasons to buy for this group is surely styling. And it's obvious we're a leader with one of the sleekest, most beautifully proportioned designs on the road. And they want engine responsiveness. And this V6 surely gives them that. And they're after a high quality vehicle. Well, of course, that's no surprise. Everybody wants that. And you have quite an impressive quality story to tell. From the way it's built at our two dedicated assembly plants to the way it shines with that base coat, clear coat paint treatment on every single color. Beretta, it's an image car, plain and simple. It adds to Chevrolet's long, proud heritage of producing fun to drive, responsive, sporty cars. So make that valuable first impression with this road machine. And remember, you only get one chance. Use it to conjure up those memories of Chevy's fun to drive image. It's the right vehicle to sell your prospects away from those Hondas and the Toyotas and all the rest and over to that proud Chevy bow tie. Fun to drive. After the mid-70s, that term seemed to vanish for many American drivers. That's quite true. The era of sporty cars faded to the era of gasoline cars. <laughs> but the love for these cars never disappeared. And today, fun to drive is back in force, especially with the heartbeat of America, today's Chevrolet. And Beretta is the latest example of fun to drive for your buyers. Tom Stout told you how Beretta carries you into a new market a market that's been run basically by the imports for some time. Beretta changes all that, and the buyers in this market will give serious consideration to Chevrolet, buyers who may not have considered Chevy in the past. You have keys you must remember when relating to this group of buyers. There are reasons to buy. Now, Tom Stout alluded to some of those keys, such as quality, styling, performance. 
Well, in the product presentation on this video disc, we saw the processes that lead to quality. Now here, we'll discuss the other two a little more closely, such as styling, a major key for this group of buyers. They appreciate an aerodynamic shape that turns the wind aside while turning a few heads at the same time. And they appreciate the technical details of how it comes to be. Now here are a few Beretta touches you can indicate, like a front spoiler that directs air underneath an aerodynamically refined chassis. Quad halogen aero lamps that rake and curve, giving less catch across the front end. Wrap around bumpers that reduce the gaps along the body for less turbulence. A sweeping hood and raked windshield that directs the wind over a smoothly contoured door into roof line design. And by the way, rain channels are recessed inside the door frame, guiding the water away from the passenger compartment. The wind is also pushed past flush vertical mount door handles, a rather unique design touch, across the smooth body side and over the raised deck lid. Now, why is all this important? Well, at speeds up to 55 miles per hour, a car uses up to 65% of its energy pushing the wind aside. The better the wind is managed, the more the engine's power is devoted to overall smooth performance. Performance is another key. And this second generation 2.8 liter multi-port V6 gives you the power you need to race your buyer's pulse. Now here are a few features to note. There are six individual fuel injectors, one at each of the engine's intake ports. Now these injectors have been redesigned to spray a more precise cone-shaped pattern into the ports for more efficient use of fuel. Now the engine's onboard computer tells the valve when to open and how long to stay open depending upon fuel requirements for different driving conditions. The result is the power needed for a variety of driving situations delivered at the driver's command. Now, the engine also incorporates a new computer-controlled ignition system that eliminates the conventional distributor. Again, computers play the key role, signaling the proper ignition coil when to fire the spark plug, depending upon engine load, speed, temperature, and other operating conditions. Now, during heavy acceleration, when lower grade than leaded fuel is used, drivers may be used to hearing an irritating knock or pinging sound. Well, this second generation V6 incorporates an electronic spark control system that quiets the noise by adjusting the spark timing for these conditions. Now, this feature is best explained when you've got your prospect out on a test drive. If buyers want to have a hand in that V6 performance, they'll like the feel of this five-speed manual transmission. Developed in conjunction between General Motors and Getrog of West Germany, this world-class design gives smooth, sporty shifting and quieter operation. The key is here, in these ball and roller bearings on the speed gears that reduce friction on downshifts. The bearings help provide for smooth shift feel and positive location of gears as drivers shift through the quadrant. It's a very durable unit, designed with bronze and steel components specifically to handle the high torque output of the V6 engine. Both fourth and fifth gears are overdrive, which allow the engine to operate at reduced RPM for less engine wear, and that means good economy, an important complement to its performance characteristics. Now that's just a few sentences from the chapter on Beretta's technology. You can find many more details in your new product album and the Beretta audio cassette. And don't forget to review the programs on this video disc often. They'll continually refresh your knowledge on the Beretta product values you need to make a difference with your buyers. And put the term fun to drive back into their vocabularies.